going to take a break of doing all the bills and my planner. I have my list going of things I want to do today, which I'm making pretty good progress. But now I think I am ready to get outside before um, it rains this couple of next days. So I'm going to stop what I'm doing and get back to this later this evening. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to caulk all along the back room. And then along that when are those windows there and long and then down. So I want to get this done. Um before the rain starts coming in, as you can see, some of the clouds are kind of coming down. So it's not really that warm out here. I would say it's probably about 72 right now, so it's perfect weather. So I better get out here and do this. I've never done this before, and it's so funny because I was watching YouTube videos. Thank goodness, man, for YouTube. All right. Oh, and plus my husband did give me a little short little brief lesson before going to bed. <laughs> So, uh, wish me luck. I have the baby monitor out here so I can listen to my mom um, sleep. So she's taking a nap. And then I am just going to dust all around here, making sure I get all the webs out because I will freak out if a, um, a spider gets into my hair while I'm doing this. <laughs> oh my God. Then, this summer, um, I plan for us, yes, I said us, me and my husband, I plan for us to um, repaint out here. really needs to be done. And it was so funny as I was, as me and my husband were talking, <laughs> I said, oh, he says, make sure you wear Make sure you wear gloves. And I'm like, oh yeah, I don't want to ruin my nails. Totally, I'm going to wear gloves, honey. And he just started shaking his head, kind of laughing at me. He's all, uh, okay. But I was thinking not to get the, the cock on your fingers. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that too, sweetie, that too. Okay, I better not stop laughing. I better stop laughing before some of this dust or spider gets in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Ready to um, get this going. Wish me luck. Okay, got everything that I believe I need at the moment. Um, my caulking, my caulking gun. Um, I heard that rubbing alcohol works great so that it doesn't um, stick onto your finger paper towels if I need it and instead of using a switch blade or, or a knife to cut the tip of this it just goes right in here where it says spout cutter and I just do it on an angle and we should be good so let me load up my gun and uh, start <laughs> okay I started there. Then I started to get the hang of it more like into there. Trickier because I had more gaps in there so I had to really pack it in there. Okay so the first part of this is done. I'm so excited. <laughs> So here is the side. Got my ladder here. And I stop right there. I decide to do the bottom. Let's see if I can take it. Oh. Whoa. <sighs> so I did the top and the bottom. Cause I think the bottom also needs to be sealed because really I don't want any critters to be going underneath there you know what I mean so I still have to do until there 
for the top and bottom. But so far, so good. Um, only came into one encounter with a spider, which was not that bad. And um, my neighbor already honked as he drove by. <laughs> this is too funny, you guys. But at least it's getting done. Something like this, I would never think I would be doing myself. No. I mean, I could always call a handyman, but let's get real. This is kind of fun, though. As long as mom stays sleeping, I'm good. Alrighty, so I finished, you guys. Anyways. I'm done. That's awesome. Alright. Second. Well, second project still undergoing, but. Super excited. Thanks a lot for watching. Or right, you didn't really watch me, but you did see my progress. So, um, that's pretty good. Uh, I gotta go now and make some lunch for mom and I get her up because she's been sleeping basically all um, afternoon so gotta wake her up and so forth and I can't wait to show my husband when he wakes up I'm so excited so proud of myself girls rule just kidding no it's girl power <laughs> oh it feels great doing things yourself um, it's a brand new experience for me and um, at first I was a little a little intimidated a little bit scared but you know it's not too bad the um, kind of got easier as you go so um, now this kind of makes me wonder I think I'm gonna do my windows and so forth but that might be just another day I just gotta get this done um, around that side so I can start sealing around my fireplace inside and then start my painting so the next project I'm gonna be doing is I need to repaint the ceiling here that's by our in our back room that we use a lot and it's just time to really repaint now that we're not using our fireplace anymore right now for the season and just need to refresh um, <laughs> this is going to be my first attempt to do this by myself my husband usually helps me but I think I'm going to try to attack this by myself really So got my tarps and have some leftover um, paint rollers. I have my blue painter's tape, some putty, which I will not be needing on this one, and then I have some other rollers here, sponge, which I don't think I need. Got my paintbrush there and some other ones and I went to Dollar Tree and I know I have oh I have some sandpaper okay that's interesting and I got garbage I don't know why I'm keeping the garbage <laughs> yeah okay so this box needs to be decluttered too huh okay get my tape going on the edges and see how that goes maybe maybe that's what I'll do <laughs> Just have to go with the flow. setting up I noticed that there's these gaps up and I really want to seal all of those so what I'm going to be using is this white caulking it's by DAP and it is an all-purpose acrylics latex so that's what I am going to use 
for the um, sealant around the boards. So I have my my latex gloves I'm going to use and then I have a um, small amount of water in my bowl along with a an old rag so that I can clean after I do the caulking. And I have my caulk gun already so <sighs> let's start. What I am doing is I am basically um, caulking the seam and filling these gaps here. take my finger and slightly gently press down as I'm going through the grooves just really trying to close some of those gaps and the cracks that's all I'm doing that is the goal looks good huh next and take my wet cloth here. While it's still wet, just going to go over this just to kind of clean it up a bit. Voila! Huge difference that makes. See, I had a sealed. And that is not. Okay, I'm kind of like in the first part of the ceiling, the trim panel ceiling. And as you can see, these gaps here, I'm just filling in with the white caulk. Um, it's going actually pretty easy. So I'm um, just taking my time, but definitely making some progress here. So, uh, I just left off there, so now I just have to continue on as the before. sitting here on the couch slash ladder and I am admiring my work <laughs> that I've been doing I'm sitting here and thinking you know what you know when you want to start a project per se like for me I just thought well I'm just going to paint the uh, the back room ceiling <laughs> and be done with it by Friday. That was my, that was what I was thinking. And then yesterday I started um, learning how to caulk the outside of the walls before it rained and it never rained, like hello. Um, don't you hate that when the weather people get it totally wrong? So, but anyways, at least that's done on the outside. So I came in the inside and then I started doing the same walls with the, um, with the caulk gun. And then I started to kind of um, watch YouTube videos to see what, if, if there was any other like good suggestions and tips on how to paint a wood uh, panel ceiling. And looking at those videos, it was suggesting to caulk between um, each panel with a thin layer. And look you guys, look how many panels there are. That's like gonna take forever. I really started to think about it and I thought, you know, Denise, you haven't done this. We haven't done that. Um, <laughs> I don't think ever, really. So I thought maybe this time I should really um, do it. <laughs> so 
you know when you start one project it starts like it begins like another project and then that project then comes into a different project well that's kind of what's going on for here. those of you who don't know I'm a full-time caregiver so I'm also taking care of my mom in between all of this as well so today I have a caregiver who's coming to relieve me for a couple hours so that I can run to the bank and to the grocery store and then probably most likely to the hardware store um, I do want to change gears I want to um, continue on with my decluttering so I still have to go through my um, kitchen cabinets I have three that I want to attack today um, so I might do that video tonight maybe because by the time I get back um, with all my errands and stuff it's going to be about 2 30 so when I really start getting in here I have about maybe three or four hours to work with sunlight and then from there then I'll probably just have dinner and then do my decluttering as my mom is just kind of relaxing and so forth but, but I am admiring my work it feels great to do stuff like this again I don't do this kind of thing <laughs> I think I'm kind of um, my husband's kind of like what's going on you know but uh, it's kind of funny. Um, follow me on Instagram at DLovelyLife so that you can follow me on this crazy project of mine. But I have many other home improvements I need to do. Um, but I definitely want to get the ceiling done because we are getting brand new carpet um, in this room um, on the 14th. So, and it looks like if I have to caulk, um, there's a part of the molding. I'll see if I can show you here. Um, right there that I have to um, on the bottom and so if I do the bottom of that molding that I just showed you that means I have to paint this entire room for the walls not just the ceiling and um, so that's going to be major That that's another project <laughs> So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do really, if I'm going to redo the walls or not. I guess it's time really. So I want to go to the hardware store and see what color, because if I'm going to repaint this puppy, um, I want to see what options I have far as new color goes. So that's what's kind of what's going on right now. I just kind of wanted to give you an update where I'm at. This is going to obviously be continued. Give me a thumbs up if you want to um, still have me videotape and record this as I go. Um, again, this is kind of what I'm doing at the moment. I do want to get back to my decluttering tonight. So you'll see another video posted here shortly for that as well. Well, anyways, thought you guys, um, you guys have a great week. Obviously, you know what I'll be up to. If you like, you can follow me on Instagram at dlovelylife, and um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.